All right, aerobic exercise could delay the symptoms of Alzheimer's. Uh, this is new research shedding some light on a devastating condition. Our chief health editor, Dr. Parth and Andy, is here right now to explain. Hi, Dr. Andy. Hi, Carolyn. So, you know, Alzheimer's, as we all know, can rob people of their ability to think clearly and make decisions. Really scary. It's become the sixth leading cause of death in America. In fact, more than five and a half million Americans are currently living with this disease. But researchers have made some progress recently when they reviewed 17 different studies examining the effects of training programs on brain function. It turns out, Carolyn, that aerobic exercise may play a crucial role in keeping Alzheimer's symptoms at bay. Wow, never heard that one before. So is it just aerobic exercise in particular that delivers these benefits? Or uh, what about straight strength training, like in the gym? And that's a key question. So when researchers reviewed the literature, Carolyn, they found that people in the control group who did no exercise at all, well, they showed declines in brain function. Those who worked out in any way uh, showed some small improvements. But interestingly, it was the folks who only did aerobic exercise hmm. who did the best on the test. Now their scores went way up, up to three times higher than the people who did a combination of strength training and aerobic exercise. Really very interesting. And so my prescriptions for people who want to get this aerobic exercise, number one, make sure you get your heart pumping a few times a week with some sort of aerobic exercise. Secondly, limit your intake of sugar and saturated fat, really important. Make sure you get plenty of fruits and veggies and whole grains. Thirdly, spend time with your tribe. Maintaining a strong social connection is critical to longevity. And lastly, remain mentally active to slow the symptoms of Alzheimer's. I tell all my patients that. Wow, really, really important. So Dr. Nanny, how much exercise should people get, especially over the age of 65 every week? A lot of my older patients ask that because they're not quite sure. The World Health Organization recommends two and a half hours per week of moderate exercise, like walking, and 75 minutes per week of vigorous aerobic exercise. It also recommends that people over 65 perform some muscle strengthening exercise at least two days a week. But of all these, it turns out the most important to preserve your cognitive function seems to be aerobic exercise like walking, running, or riding a bike. So if you do that, I think it'll be awesome. Wow, I hope everybody's listening to that. We're going to have to pass that information along. Thank you so much, Dr. Dan, as always, for your medical expertise. Joanne.